We are getting closer and closer to the new Wrath of the Druids DLC for Valhalla and while Ubisoft is pretty tight-lipped about it, we did already get some new details thanks to hints found in the files of the game and they got me more excited. For one, it should be $25 as a standalone expansion or of course part of the season pass so that already indicates that it's pretty big and it's likely comparable as if all the three episodes of the Legacy of the First Blade would launch in one day. And this new info also indicates that we're looking at a pretty BV expansion. So let's go over some leaked info. A like on the video would of course really help me out and let's go. You still got time to enter my current Helix credit pack giveaway. I will be announcing the winner during the weekly reset video on Tuesday. So totally enter via the link in the pinned comment if you haven't already. And these giveaways are only for subscribers of this channel. So good luck. Okay, let's immediately jump into something that I really hope comes to the game. Because of course when it's in the files it likely means that it's planned but it's also not 100% confirmed. A huge shout out by the way to Andy Reloads and a link to his channel is in the video description for sharing this info and also to Petter who dicked it all up. So one of the things they highlight are references to new life daily quests in Ireland and sure assassinating an elite target or freeing a prisoner is something we've seen before but to pillage a caravan could be interesting and more exciting than what we're now doing in England. And we also got a reference to a VIP hunt, so curious what that is. Like overall it really sucks if a new expansion comes out with a cool new area to explore and then every time for dailies or other regular stuff you have to return to the old area of the game. But here in Valhalla it seems that we can actually stay in Ireland and get Opal there which would of course be awesome. So I really hope this makes earning Opal more exciting. And there are also more leaks that hint at ways for us to stay in Ireland instead of having to go back to England all the time. During the post launch trailer it was mentioned that Dublin is in the Druids DLC and that we will influence the trading system in this city. Well now according to the files we should also expect a blacksmith and barber in Dublin. Slightly meaning that if we want to upgrade our newly found gear or use the visual customization system, we don't have to go back to the settlement to Gunner, but can actually stay in this new area and also change the look of our character in terms of tattoos and hairstyles. Like, that would be really cool. New buildings were also found that we might be able to interact with, so upgrades or maybe even build. So we have a worker house, a storage depot, a raider tent and also a main building. But as Andy notes in his video, these buildings appear to not be in one spot, but actually in multiple locations in Ireland. So maybe instead of having one main settlement, we have multiple trading outposts with different buildings there. Sounds pretty awesome and this is by the way a look at the map of Ireland Andy put together with like locations they found in the files. Again a link to his channel in the video description. Really cool work. But yeah this gives an idea of the scope of the map we can explore. Of course not 100% confirmed. This is all based on the references found in the game files. And these hand icons are by the way for different trading outposts in the game. Like if this is true then we're looking at a pretty big DLC map. With maybe some Drangir fights waiting for us as well because there are references to Ireland Drangir and werewolf fights and a spider druid. There are also references to like mythical bosses that I don't want to spoil because that would kind of ruin the surprise. But yeah, it seems like we can expect a pretty diverse lineup of enemies. And on the topic of staying in Ireland, we see mentions of pigeon coop icons, likely indicating that this way of communication used by the assassins will be back in this DLC. So in the older games like Brotherhood, Assassin's Creed 2 and I think Black Flag as well, you could pick up these small contracts from pigeons and then go out and do them. They were kind of easy, kind of comparable to the dailies we have now. So maybe this will be our way to get the dailies in Ireland instead of like talking to a kid. Or maybe these are just some smaller extra side missions we can do for silver or something. Would be pretty nice, but yeah, seems like these pigeon cages return in Ireland. And it also seems like Ubisoft Bordeaux in France is leading the development of this DLC as discovered by Access the Animus via LinkedIn profiles of people working on the game. And Diana is one of those people, a junior project coordinator in charge of the abilities, skills, rewards, 
weapons, gear, cosmetics, game economy and players progression. Confirming that we will get brand new abilities and skills in this DLC as well. Like I was not 100% sure because we of course already saw brand new abilities and skills with free post launch updates. And actually while making this video, thegamer.com posted an interview with Hugo, the associate narrative director on the Druids DLC about the time periods of this expansion and more interesting tidbits. So when the DLC starts we are about 8 decades after the first Viking raid in Ireland and 40 years after they first settled in Dublin. And around that time there was a new generation emerging, the Norse Gaels, so born from marriage between Norse and Gaelic people. And they were used both by Norse and Irish to secure the other's protection, land or assistance. And Axis the Animus on Twitter also shared some nice tidbits from the interview which I will link to in the video description. So the Vikings had no hope left of conquering Ireland at the time of the DLC. So they focused on doing business with Irish and were oftentimes used by Irish kings as mercenaries of war. And we now by the way learn that at the start of the DLC we join Flan Sinna, the High King of Ireland, in a war campaign. So this will be an important character during the DLC, just like Barrett Mac Imer, and I hope I pronounced it right, he's the King of Dublin during the time of the DLC, because he was born from an Irish mother, like he is a Norse Gael as well. And he was put on the throne there by High King Eight Vinlife, who actually defeated the Vikings who wanted to take over Ireland. So the Vikings are still ruling Dublin, but yeah, they're not like going to conquer Ireland anymore. So it will be less about taking over the different regions of Ireland, it seems, but more about trading goods and helping others in their war. I really hope that Ubisoft releases new footage soon so we can finally like use that during these videos. It's kind of hard to like only use the post launch trailer. But yeah, when we know more, I'll of course let you know here. So totally subscribe for everything on the Ireland DLC and of course other Valhalla content. A like on the video would really help me out. Totally check out my previous video with an in-depth look at a rumor about a potential third expansion for Valhalla that seems to be coming. You can watch it by clicking on the screen or I will link to it at the end of our photo mode showcase. You can of course send in your shots via the Valhalla with the hashtag on Twitter or via my dedicated pictures channel on the Discord. And you can join the Discord via the link in the pinned comments. Accept the rules and then you are able to post. Okay Joyce, photo mode expert here on the channel. You of course looked at all the pictures and selected three. So I'm curious which one did you pick this time? What's up everyone? First up is Red Revent over on Twitter who went into the settlement and took this nice ambient shot next to the Astara festival tree. You can of course get this one in the festival shop it's a very peaceful setting with the mm -hmm. sun coming up and a warm color scheme and seeing the rest of the building buildings kind of in a distance here yeah and i think once again it shows you that this tree is like the coolest one right yeah. it, it really yeah. adds a different flavor to your settlement next up is black legion over on discord who delivered a nice altier shot for you your once hey. again, this one gives nostalgic vibes with the stealthy approach Avor is taking here. Although, I'm a bit wondering if they are killing the enemy with the spear or with the hidden blade. Yeah, I don't know what this spear is doing as well, but <laughs> uh, I guess two steps to uh, finish the job. And to wrap up this photo mode reel, we've got Blank G over on Twitter who's going dark on its ship with, I believe, one of the ship design items you can get at settlement level 6. Correct yeah. me if I'm wrong. Yeah, yeah, it's the Nilfheim uh, sort of uh, figurehead there. Really cool. Yeah. I love how the ship figure is reflecting on the water and Aver sitting on the top ready to go on a raid. Really awesome. So if you got any shots, send them our way. Of course, subscribe for way more Valhalla content. And totally check out our previous video. You can watch it by clicking on the screen. For now, we will speak to you next time and goodbye. Bye.